Setting the date and time via the command prompt is a useful thing to know as it's actually quicker this way than it would be using the date and time control panel options in Windows. As you've probably guessed already, the commands to set date and time are in fact date and time. Let's see this in action in a command prompt window. As you can see here, if you use the date command on its own, the command prompt will ask you to enter a new date. This is exactly the same for the time command. Note that you can also do this by typing the date or time within the command itself without having to be prompted for it. For example, date 200220 or time 2142. If you simply want to view the date or time without being prompted for new information, just put slash T on the end of the relevant command. A useful trick I've learned is using two and signs to run multiple commands at once. To view the current date and time within the same command, type in the following. Date slash T, two and signs, time slash T. You'll then see this information displayed on screen. Finally, if you want to set the date and time in one command, this can be done as follows. Date 200220, two and signs, time 2145. Finally, you'll need to know how to set the time zone using the command prompt as well. This is where the tzutil command comes in. Slash G. This confirms the current time zone settings. Slash L. This lists all available time zones on your system. Slash S. This sets a new time zone. The syntax for this command is as follows. tzutil slash S time zone. For example... TZUtil slash S GMT standard time. Now that we've gone over setting the current date, time and time zone using a command prompt window, let's move on to the dispart command. 